update my babes. I know it has been forever since I've seen you guys. There's been so much that went on last year. I'm so happy to be checking back in. It is January 5th of 2021 and it's time for me to get back on track. I have so much to update you guys on. It's been a good year, but it's also been a rough year in some regards. Some things happened this year that really gave me a new outlook on life and I'm actually kind of disappointed in myself about how I handled some of the situations because um, based off of what happened to me, I should have I should have lost the weight immediately. Like immediately, I should have lost all this excess weight. But as you can probably see from this, I've actually gained quite a few pounds in 2020. Not uncommon because I know a lot of us being in quarantine um, gained a lot of weight. I actually went from my I, I peaked in the 180s. I was like 187, 188 sometime last year. The very end of 2020, I got on the scale right around Christmas time and I was 212 pounds. So, not good, not healthy. And back to what I was saying, which was um, with the health things that happened to me, I should have changed my eating habits and lost the weight immediately. I actually um, had a stroke in September of this year and that was due to me having um, unbearably like extremely high blood pressure. My blood pressure was in the 200s over the mid 100s. So my blood pressure was extremely high. Um, thank goodness that I left the hospital with no lasting deficits meaning that the stroke that occurred, um, there was a restriction of blood flow, but the stroke that occurred did not affect any vital areas in my brain. So essentially there's no um, no long-term da term damage, which is a blessing in and of itself. Um, the end result, I wanna show you guys, is that now I have to separate out pills and I have to take um, eight pills a day. Down, from what was I doing 11 pills a day so I'm slowly coming down but even still if I would have taken the steps immediately after that happened to get my eating back on track um eat clean and eat healthy and make some lifestyle changes I probably would be on a lot less medications right now so going into 2021 where we're already here I've already started making a few changes so like I said I started at 212 right around Christmas time I got on the scale this morning and I was 207.8. So I'm slowly starting to um, lose the pounds and get back on track. Even looking at myself now, um, I don't know if it's from the medicine or from just me getting older or what's going on or all this damn grease in my hair, but my hair is like thinning. So I wanna kind of see what happens with that going forward. Um, of course, the fatness in my face, the tiredness in my eyes, like all these things that I really want to work on and kind of get back to me. But with that being said, um, I'm doing some things that are very specific to me getting back on track. And my big thing last year that helped me to kind of stay consistent and slowly but, but surely lose weight was OMAD. So I'll be back on OMAD. I've been doing that for two days now. I also started incorporating a drink that I discovered from someone on YouTube. I'll actually drop her name below because I can't, I think it's Keisha. I'm pretty sure it's Keisha. But um, she mentioned a drink that is ginger, lemon, and um, cayenne pepper mixed. And she drinks that daily. So I started doing that and I drink it really hot and then I'll have like several cups of water and I'll do my one meal a day. I haven't cut anything out of my diet. Like I haven't cut carbs, I haven't cut meat, I haven't cut anything specific. I'm just kind of being more cautious about how many carbs I'm consuming, um, no juice or soda or anything like that. And um, just kind of, you know, counting my calories. I am counting calories that I am doing. I'm at 1,200 calories a day for the last couple of day days. I've been like just a bit under when I logged them in my fitness pal. 
but it's kind of hard to get 1200 calories into one meal a day so you really gotta beef it up um and i've tried to incorporate like kale sweet potatoes a lot of fruits and vegetables and stuff like that but when you're throwing those calories when you're throwing those numbers in and you're kind of eating healthy you realize that with um any tracker that you're using that wow i really need to like eat a lot in this one meal to get those 1200 calories i'm no nutritionist i'm no specialist so i am not credible in any sense of the word when it comes to offering nutrition advice but i will say that on days when i um like I'm under just a little bit on the calories. I'm okay with that. I know the tracker says you need to get to 1200 for your health, but I, with the weight that I am, need to be in more of a caloric deficit. So <laughs> I can't I can't necessarily continue to consume um, 12 and above 100 calories um, when I have an opportunity that I'm feeling full, I've eaten enough, and I'm at maybe around 1100 calories or 1050 calories something like that i'm gonna just go with that and i'm gonna shut it off for the day um i've been having my one meal a day and like i said i've only been doing omad for two days now i've been doing this drink for two days um but i've kind of been consciously making small changes since the end of the year so about a week or so and so far i've lost five pounds so like i said i feel like i'm on the right track um and normally when especially with the amount of weight that I picked up where you can see um, normally that first um, couple of pounds seven to ten pounds I feel like comes off a lot faster uh, I'm still grateful for any weight loss but it's just you know how we get impatient with the weight loss I have to take it slow I can't expect to be um, 170 pounds when I took the 180 or so pounds that I was at and then destroyed any of my <laughs> any of my accomplishments by gaining all this weight back so I can't just expect it to happen like that I have to get back into a good groove and then I have to earn that 180 pound mark again and then work my way down back to 170 160 or whatever I'm gonna do but um, I know it's so cliche this year just feels different it doesn't feel like it's going to be a task it doesn't feel like it's gonna be tedious it feels like it's going to feel good. Um, I have reasons beyond vanity that I need to lose weight, um, which, like I said, I'm disappointed in myself because those health reasons should have put a spark in my ass immediately. I should have been losing that weight like immediately after I got out of the house. I was in intensive care for three days. I had a stroke. <laughs> And I still gained weight and that is unacceptable even though I was taking my medicine regularly after I got out the hospital the medicine is a crutch honestly um, healthy lifestyle and doing the things I need to do to naturally lower my blood pressure and to naturally um, eliminate some of the um, issues that I'm having with cholesterol and thank God I don't have any issues with like diabetes or anything like that I'm not even um, pre-diabetic or anything like that but like there are just several issues that I can easily eliminate with just taking care of myself and my health. And of course, you know, everybody wants to look good. That's that's reason number two. In the past, um, it's been reason number 1.5. It's like, okay, health is important, but I didn't really see how detrimental it could be to not take care of yourself until I ended up in the hospital. So um, now that this this health thing is really it, it took a while to really resonate and kind of just get in my head that you had a stroke you had a stroke you need to get your shit together like together um it, it just took a while to resonate and now that it's really embedded in what i need to be doing for myself like i gotta i gotta move quick i gotta decide what's really important to me and of course I've like I, I think I've expressed this before but I've always been the heavier one in my family when it comes to uh, my mom my cousins my aunts everybody I am literally the heaviest one in my family at 200 pounds I was still the heaviest one at 180 pounds so um when people see what I'm going through they don't necessarily relate but 
that's no longer like that I'm not gonna let that bother me anymore because my journey is my own my um my issues with my health are my own and because no one can relate to what I've actually been through no one can relate to what I'm gonna have to go through to get to where I am so I'm not gonna let that be something that's like oh well you need to catch up to them you need to be how they are no everybody's journey is different everybody's end result is different everybody's natural um body weight what they're supposed to be when they're at their healthiest is different and i have to understand that too um so it's just it's just a lot of things that i'm going to be doing different not because it's a new year but because i am ready and I do have a couple trips coming up this year. I know everybody's like, it's COVID. Why are you still traveling? Um, people have their own opinions about that. And of course, I'm concerned for any and everybody's health around me, as well as my own being that I, I am especially high risk with the blood pressure issues. And having had a stroke, um, I really need to take care of myself when it comes to getting sick. But I also cannot stop living my life. I cannot stop living my life. I have to um, have something to look forward to. I think I've said that before too. But I have to have something to look forward to, whether it be the next trip, the next big occasion that I can celebrate. It has to be something that's like, okay, I know this is coming up. Um, I'm going to work hard until then. I'm going to save some money, put it to the side. I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to get myself together. I've got some shopping to do. Like Those are the things that kind of keep me going and just give me something to look forward to. Um, so yeah, I'll be in, and like I said, feel how you want to feel about it, drop it in the comments to each their own, but I will be in Vegas in February. Um, I'm going for my cousin's birthday. She invited me out and then I'll be taking another trip for my birthday in April, like my husband and I always do. So that gives me something to kind of push a little bit harder for on the vanity side, but the health side is the most important. I will be looking into benefits of um, a lot of foods that'll help naturally lower my blood pressure and try to incorporate those into my diet. But more than anything, I need to find what I like to eat. And that's because a lot of times we get into situations where it's like the diet is telling us to eat this or the limited um, amount of foods that we can have consist of these things that we don't like. And that's not going to sustain us long term. Um, it'll help us lose the weight. It'll help us get to where we need to go for our goals. But when we reach those goals and we're like, oh, okay, well, you know, we can kind of have a little bit of what we used to have because we're here now then you just spiral out of control and then you're right back where you started. So I have to find things that I truly enjoy eating and that I would not mind doing forever, essentially. Um, I cannot cut out steak, I've realized that. I can limit my steak and maybe have it once or twice a month as opposed to two or three times a week, um, but I cannot cut out steak. An Angus New York strip steak, or a nice porterhouse i i'm sorry i i can't i can't cut it out it's protein um it may not be the protein of everyone else's choice but it's something that is for me so i have to find a way to incorporate that in my omad um every once in a while to keep myself from going crazy i love sweet potatoes so i prefer sweet potatoes over um regular white potatoes that's going to be something that i incorporate a lot of i love kale spinach um, a lot of green leafy vegetables so that won't be a problem at all I've gotten like I've started to really like Brussels sprouts the only problem <laughs> with Brussels sprouts the only problem with Brussels sprouts is I like to eat them with honey and bacon bits and like roast them oh my god oh my god oh my god it's so good but it's, it's not that healthy I mean it's not the worst thing I can have but it's not really that healthy but like I said, my goal is just to pretty much find these things that I enjoy, that I can sustain. Water has been easy. It took a while for me to get back into the water habit, but I've been putting lemon and cucumber in my water and it is so refreshing. Lemon, cucumber, and a big container of ice water. I'll probably show you guys that in my next video, the actual container that I use that I constantly refill throughout the day that I've been drinking water consistently and, um, 
of course, I'm going to continue to do that. These are just the basic things that I've been doing to make changes. There's no keto. There's no, like I said, any name for what I'm doing. I'm just doing what feels good to me. I'm counting calories. I'm keeping it under 1,200. I'm eating one meal a day. I am going to start working out um, soon enough. I can do light workouts now, but I also forgot to mention to you guys that just early December, on December 6th, I believe, I broke my, um, I had a tibial break in my leg. So I broke that and then there was a tiny fracture in the bone on top of my foot. So I've been in a boot and just all bad. But I'm starting to walk now. I've been kind of stretched. I know it's really early for me to be putting that pressure on my leg, but I can't stagnant guys I can't so I've been kind of stretching it and lightly putting weight on it and trying to get back to normal so that I can um, start working out again in the next couple of weeks like actually getting on the stairs and um, doing some light walking on the treadmill and stuff like that for now I can only do like maybe crunches I can't even really do squats because I can't bend like I can't bend and put that pressure on my ankle like that so it's 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 not the worst thing but at least it'll give me a window of time to really commit to the eating part and the old man part and um make that a significant lifestyle change i know they say 30 days and it's a habit um i don't want to wait 30 days to start incorporating some type of workout but for these first 30 days um january 1st or end of december however you want to count it I really need to just zero in on being consistent with this team. I'm proud of myself so far. It's early, but I think I'm going to start looking at those small victories, too, along with the big picture. Not as opposed to, but along with the big picture, I have to look at those small victories and really sit and relish in my accomplishments because that five-pound weight loss that I have done so far, it doesn't feel significant but it's not because it's not significant it's a mental thing and I'm not really um, allowing myself to um, to be proud of myself and um, I guess that's enough talking for now of course we'll start doing the pictures and the weigh-ins and hopefully later on down the line some gym videos but this is a lifestyle journey for um you know for youtube purposes i'll call it a weight loss journey um but essentially this is a lifestyle journey that i'm starting in 2021 and i feel really good about it i i normally like to kind of like i said look a lot more presentable but it's life everybody is like everybody is not perfect every moment of the day and that's what makes us even more special is being able to appreciate us in our, you know, in our natural state. Not natural as far as like wearing makeup and all like that, but just who we really are on a day-to-day -day basis and not being so made up for the camera or, um, you know, trying to be extremely perky all the time. I do have a, a, a like upbeat personality, but sometimes I'm not like that. And I guess it's okay to kind of share all the parts of me with you guys if you've been here with me last year and you're back say hello guys i miss you so much and if you just kind of just so happen to click on my video and you want to stick around and see what's coming next i appreciate you and i thank you so much i will talk to you guys soon